Hello, I'm Mrs Wells and I'm going to read you The Bad-Tempered Ladybird by Eric Carl. You might know another story by Eric Carl about a very hungry caterpillar. It was night and some fireflies danced around the moon. At five o'clock in the morning, the sun came up. A friendly ladybird flew in from the left. It saw a leaf with many aphids on it and decided to have them for breakfast. But just then a bad-tempered ladybird flew in from the right. It too saw the aphids and wanted them for breakfast. That's all the aphids on that leaf. Good morning, said the friendly ladybird. Go away, shouted the bad-tempered ladybird. I want those aphids. Oh, we can share them, suggested the friendly ladybird. No, they're mine. All mine, screamed the bad-tempered ladybird. Or oh, do you want to fight me for them? Well, if you insist, answered the friendly ladybird sweetly. It looked the other ladybird straight in the eye. The bad-tempered ladybird stepped back. It looked less sure of itself. Oh, you're not big enough for me to fight, it said. Well, then why don't you pick on somebody bigger? I'll do that, screeched the bad-tempered ladybird. I'll show you. It pulled itself up and flew off. At six o'clock, it met a wasp. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the wasp, showing its stinger. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At seven o'clock, it saw a stag beetle. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird. Want to fight? If you insist, said the stag beetle, opening its jaws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At eight o'clock, it came across a praying mantis. Hey, you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the praying mantis, reaching out with its long front legs. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At nine o'clock, it almost flew into a sparrow. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the sparrow, opening its sharp beak. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At ten o'clock, it saw a lobster. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the lobster, stretching its claws. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At eleven o'clock, it bumped into a skunk. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the skunk, starting to lift its tail. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. <gasps> At twelve noon, it spotted a boa constrictor. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist said the snake right after lunch oh you're not big enough said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off at one o'clock it happened upon a hyena hey you said the bad-tempered ladybird want to fight if you insist said the hyena laughing eerily and showing its teeth oh you're not big enough said the bad-tempered ladybird and flew off at two o'clock it met a gorilla. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the gorilla, beating its chest. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At three o'clock, it ran into a rhinoceros. Yeah, can you see that? Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the rhinoceros, lowering its, lowering its horn. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. <gasps> At four o'clock, it encountered an elephant. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? If you insist, said the elephant, raising its trunk and showing its big tusks. Oh, you're not big enough, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. Oh, at five o'clock, it met a whale. Hey you, said the bad-tempered ladybird, want to fight? But the whale didn't answer at all. 
You're not big enough anyway, said the bad-tempered ladybird, and flew off. At 5.15, the bad-tempered ladybird said to one of the whale's flippers, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. <gasps> At 5.30, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's fin, Hey, you, want to fight? But it got no answer, so it flew on. At quarter to six, the bad-tempered ladybird said to the whale's tail, Hey, you! Want to fight? And the whale's tail gave the bad-tempered ladybird such a slap that it flew across the sea and across the land. At six o'clock, the bad-tempered ladybird arrived right back where it had started from. Ah, here you are again, said the friendly ladybird. You must be hungry. There are still some aphids left. You can have them for your dinner. OK, thank you, said the wet, tired and hungry ladybird. Want to share them? Thank you. You're welcome. Soon all the aphids were gone. Thank you, said the leaf. You are welcome, answered both the ladybirds, and they went to sleep. The fireflies, who had been sleeping all day, came out to dance around the moon. See everybody soon.